What's a dark piece of reddit history that we like to forget that it ever happened? There was a post about a guy wanting to try heroin just once. If you go through his post history, you can see him go down the spirals of addiction. Remember when r slash jailbait was shut down? Because a substitute teacher posted creep shits of girls in a class he was filling in for. Edit. It was probably r slash creep shits. I think it was slash r slash if machist, but it might have been slash r slash confession. A mom posted about how she'd fantasized four years about spit roasting her son and eating him, and how she eventually planned to tell him all about this when he was of age. Because apparently, being 18 makes the idea a whole lot more reasonable. There was an Ascredit post about what is your deepest darkest secret that would ruin you, if it ever got out. Someone's response was coordinates. What was at those coordinates? A corpse. This was fake. Not too long ago a guy posted on r slash relationships that he was born without an arm. The problem was that he then found pictures of him when he was a baby and had both arms at his parents house. I don't remember how did that end up. Sounds interesting. Is there a link? Decoy arm. Well his arms didn't grow back. On r slash relationships the story of the poor girl who found out her mom was effing her boyfriend. She walked in on it. She leaves and goes no contact with mom and now ex-boyfriend. He begs her to forgive him. About a week later the ex kills himself. That one hit me for some reason. The ex was a prick for cheating with ops mom but it not worth killing yourself over. Someone posted a confession about how they pee in their sink because they are tall. And it's easier. Given a few days half of reddit was pissing in their own sinks, and posting about it, is that why my husband randomly started peeing in the sink, good damn it, I like that this answer is actually funny, and not disturbing or tragic, toilets really should be higher. Isis fighter did a rammer on slash r slash Syrian civil war, and got droned, because his location was compromised, no proof it was his ammo, that did it, now 4chan did it for real. They managed to find a training camp from one picture. That's pretty cool. That's less of a dark piece of reddit history, and more of a hilarious one. I mean, it's an ISIS dude. He's an acceptable target. No one talks, or knows, about how the slash r slash ammo and slash r slash armor subreddits was stolen from the person who created them including people calling and harassing this person at work. I don't know if this was ever made public, but it happened when people realized that certain subreddits had power and value. Reddit did not always have subreddits, it was all just one big hole that people dumped content into. Someone posted an ammo saying that he was terminally ill and assisted suicide had recently been legalized in his state. He said that he would die from assisted suicide within a few days. His ammo blew up as the guy told stories about his life and gave life advice to others. Redditors were quoting him for like a week and then someone on another website claimed that it was all fake and he did it to prove how gullible reddit users are. He posted a screenshot of the ammo with the supposedly terminally ill's user account logged in. The ammo was soon deleted after that, never to be mentioned again. This sounds very similar to something that happened a few weeks ago. A girl posted in slash r slash twarks chromosomes claiming that she may be her fiance's sister and that he knew for like a year. Obviously blew up. The next day, the girl or guy posted that it was all fake and it was done to call out news sources that quote these stories without fact finding damn that's almost as bad as slash you slash lord tits there was someone who posted about a way to give a spoon a cool rainbow color to it the instructions on how to do this were to take duct tape and wrap it around the handle four to six times then heat the metal end up with the lighter bigger the flame the better for two to four minutes then run it under a faucet with cold water at full blast. Obviously this seems sketchy, but someone decided they wanted to try it. Someone replied to the post a few days later, and was warning people not to try it as his friend tried it, and now he has no effing eyes. Long story short heating up the spoon causes the metal and tape to expand, and putting it under cold water causes the metal and tape to contract really fast which causes the spoon to explode. Wow, effing Christ, reminds me of another story where some guy on a forum supposedly posted a way to make some crystals that turned out to be highly toxic and hospitalized a few people with a couple of deaths, could just be a myth for all I know, but it's scary, that was on 4chan, it was real. The slash you slash the real print incident was a refined tragedy for everyone involved, check out his post history for the full story but tl. 
Doctor this guy was clearly very mentally ill, and stalking a girl who makes videos for in. He made a lot of posts on slash r slash legal advice and slash r slash relationships asking for help on how best to get in contact with her, even though she had banned him on all social media platforms. He was absolutely obsessed with this girl, and judging by his post history, he may have committed suicide after this whole thing. I remember last time this was brought up in a similar thread, and he showed up, and kept on trying to explain that he was massively misunderstood, and that he loved her point it was like he just couldn't listen to anyone saying that what he was doing was scary, and that he was obviously sick point it was really disturbing. Sounds a lot like the Denko incident. Poor, poor Denko. Yeah and his last post says F this world and the one before that pretty much says he's going to kill himself. I wonder if he's okay. He made another post with an alt account after the whole suicide note thing, so he may be alive. Slash you slash Carl programming. Deadlink. Helped a lot of people learn programming. Got caught making child pornography using his own son. Committed suicide in prison. I remember that one. It f'd me up. I recall reading. That even seasoned CP investigators were aghast at the depravity of the photos. Jude was also convicted of sexual torture of a child. Apparently this is a separate crime than just CP or RE. I don't care what it is exactly, and I don't ever want to find out. The thing that haunts me is that as I recall his mom was out of the picture, abandoned by his mom, and tortured by his dad. I can't even begin to imagine how badly that would f a person up. I knew someone in a similar position. Mom committed suicide. Dad got a new girlfriend in. She sexually abused him, and his two sisters. He runs away from home, moves to Brighton, when he was 14. The social worker ended up being assigned to him rs him, gives him hiv, he prosecutes the guy, arpist gets sent to jail, he gets an apartment and a bunch of compensation, develops a heroin addiction, and blow it all. I caught him at the tail end of his life as he was trying to withdraw from using heroin he didn't actually manage it and overdosed. His name was Martin, he was a very sweet man, bright eyed, happy and hilariously funny, a sad loss, sexual torture of a child. Even Google refused to give me that answer up front. That escalated quickly. Holy f. I hadn't heard about this, and I used to follow him. Incorporated similar and personal f ed up story. When I was young, my father took pictures of me naked, and, assuming at this point, sold them for drug money, as he was an addict. He lost custody of my brother and me several years later. And after not seeing us for multiple years, also committed suicide. IDKY I felt the need to tell this story now of all times. But hey, there ya go Reddit. The Boston bombing debacle. Side note, that is now used as a case study for computing ethics. We did it. This actually happened recently, and may not be as intense as some of the other stories. But it is pretty chilling. A reddit user posts on r slash relationship underscore advice asking how to deal with his wife's infidelity. Op had proof that she'd been sleeping with their neighbor for a while. Everyone on the thread told him to get a divorce, go no contact, etc. He posts an update saying he attempted to separate from his wife, but she then tried turning their two kids against him telling them things like mommy can't see you guys right now because daddy is mad at her. He, again. Asks Reddit for advice on how to deal with this. He wants a divorce, but is afraid that she'll do something to harm his relationship with his children. Every commenter was encouraging him to divorce anyway, saying things like what's the worst she can do, your kids will understand when they are old enough. Well, he posts another update thread a couple months later with a news article reporting that, shortly after filing for divorce with his wife, she stabbed slash killed both of their children and stabbed herself as well. The kids didn't make it, but she did, and the neighbor who she was having an affair with openly supported her. Obviously the users who were strongly encouraging him to file for divorce despite his concern about the children felt terrible. I think a good amount of them sent apology messages, or donated to him. I think everyone who participated on those threads would rather just forget about it entirely. It was a few weeks later, when he posted the update, he got more notoriety, when he posted on r slash legal advice asking for help, since his mother-in-law set up a GoFundMe under false pretenses, he needed funds to help with funeral costs, she wanted the money to help with her daughter's legal fees and hospital bills, r slash legal advice thread, that's just sick. So he should have stayed married to this obviously crazy person. 
Radit did nothing wrong there, neither did the guy. B was crazy. Really he should have maybe prepared a bit more before going through with it. But how the hell could you predict someone that crazy doing something that insane? Never said that. Never blamed Reddit. Either. No one on that thread should be held accountable for what happened in the slightest. But sh if you were one of the people encouraging him to file for divorce because, well, what's the worst she can do to the kids? You'd feel pretty bad. I bet you'd want to forget about it. Was hoping top post was deleted. There was this thread about a girl who ended up going to Europe with two men she never met. Seemed like they lured her into a trap basically, and she never posted on Reddit. Since that last post, I forgot the details point. If anyone has the link please post. Remember that time we found that Hitman and the subreddit they made for assignments? No I don't remember. Please tell. Part. 1. Basically this one popular user died, and it got out of attention, because he was a salty old bastard who also loved threads with very young girls. This one dude made a post as a homage to him. They knew each other from working together. That's when the dominoes began to fall, and because of this extra attention to this old dude's internet history people realized something was fishy as hell with a website he moderated. It was basically a shell website with invisible code. Anyways what came of it was that his website was a proxy for what was essentially a hit list that mercs used. Then, since this guy was a reddit user, people went back to look through his history, and surprise he was also part of a sub for just that r slash lcqp. LCQP stands for Lake City Quiet Pills. Now that Reddit is so big and popular they are obviously aren't around anymore. And there was a whole conspiracy theory hunt to figure out what exactly it all meant. But inevitably people lost interest because it really was a Craigslist for Hitman and no one is actually opposed to that. But when they thought it was like a kiddie sex ring it was much bigger. Morgan Freeman's disastrous ammo. Let's not talk about Morgan Freeman's ammo. Let's keep discussion to Rampart. As much of a cluster as that one was I can't help, but feel that he gets shone unnecessarily. Because everything in that thread made it seem like he was genuinely only told that it was a PR event for Rampart by his agent slash people who arranged it to be just that. Not counting on the fact that Rudy wouldn't play ball. Whoever handles PR effort up big time. And it seems to me like he just got caught in the middle. Link, I didn't know he had one. Here you go. Why was it disastrous? Because there was a very clear lack of Morgan Freeman. Every answer the account gave read like a PR guy with canned responses. That time Reddit investigated the Boston bombing and got 99.7% of the information wrong. I believe the only information they got right was that there was in fact a bombing and that it occurred in Boston. The guy that disappeared forever after posting a pic of a landmine and saying he was going to smash it open. Someone tracked him down through his Steam account. The mine was third printed, and he posted a picture of his username and landmine to the Reddit detective who discovered his identity. I found the post a while ago, but most of the comments were removed by the time I got to it. Similar to this, the guy on 4chan who messed with a hand grenade and flushed it down the toilet. The next day there were news articles about an explosion in some owner's apartment that originated from the Pip York and I'm pretty sure someone died. Either it was him, or the grenade made his way through the pipes and killed his neighbor or something. I thought it was a microwave grenade. That might have been a different one though. I don't know. You can't flush a refine grenade through the toilet. I don't have anything to prove it, but I'm pretty sure they figured out that the news article was an unrelated incident. Oh. That was solved. It was a stunt. He'd done similar things in the past. As someone who joined Reddit 4 ish months ago, it is appallingly interesting to learn about these horrific incidents in Reddit's past. That time r slash gaming led a pitchfork mob against an employee of Telltale Games because of a post about a Jurassic Park Jeep they'd borrowed for a promotional event. You know why gaming developers like to stay silent and unseen. This is why. The gaming community is full of nutters. One time the lead dev for COD Bo2 I think changed it so that it was harder to get trick shots. Then had to get a bodyguard as people were telling him what his 5 year old son was wearing during the day and harassing him. A woman posted about her sexual assault with a photo of her bruised face. I was sexually assaulted in the early evening while wearing jeans and a t-shirt in a safe residential neighborhood in Toronto. 
This is what he did to my face. Only arpists cause RE. People started going through her post history to play Reddit detective and accused her of faking it. She was a MacUp artist and had once made a post about RE culture. So naturally these people assumed she made up a fake assault to prove her point. It was real. She posted a video of her wetting a cloth and wiping at the bruise and spoke with the guy that started the witch hunt and even he was like guys she's legit. It was just an ugly, ugly thing all around and definitely a less remembered dark reddit moment. I'm not even slightly surprised. Probably too late to post, but that one incident where slash you slash it's Miss Esther Liakut made a few reddit posts asking for help because her ex-boyfriend was stalking her and making malicious threats toward her and her boyfriend. She wanted to hire a professional investigator since the police weren't helping because apparently showing up, banging on her door, staking out in the bushes, telling her over the phone that he'd ari her and kill her bf etc were not illegal. I remember seeing her old posts didn't get many useful comments, if any at all. Apparently the ex kicked her door in one night and she shot him. Police showed up and arrested him. Reddit gave their outpouring support and it was kind of a one of our very own moment. This isn't necessarily something worth forgetting, but it always sort of upset me that not many people on Reddit or from her local PD came to aid her until it was almost too late and she had to act of her own accord. Now her account's been deleted so not sure if that means anything good or bad. I don't remember the exact details, but on some tinfoil hat sub, someone posted a picture of a dick near their house that they thought was a secret operation. People called, drove by, somewhere in Utah. It might not apply as it's smaller scale, but a bunch of people harassed a Dacre. I remember this. It was in a semi-bad area, looked shady from the outside, and the staff refused to talk with the guy investigating, so he decided it was a drug front or something. I like it turned out to be a legit daycare. It did. It was ridiculous. They didn't want to talk to him because he was harassing a Dacre. I can totally understand why the staff wouldn't talk to someone investigating and how if someone's suffering from paranoia they could paint a whole story from that. But on some tinfoil hat sub, not just any tinfoil hat sub, the tinfoil hat sub, slash r slash conspiracy. Solar roadways was a horrible time for Reddit. Solar freaking roadways. What are they? Solar freaking roadways. How many of us donated to that snake oil crap? Also called the most expensive and prone to breaking way of implementing solar panels. They tried small hexagon tiles, which are horrific for roads, because they'll eventually deal level. They tried glass on roads, which just scuffs over time. The implementations they used for got drainage didn't work in the first place and were terribly leveled. France just finished a stretch of road for 5 million dollars and all I can say is, why not solar shelters? They're cheaper, easier to access, easier to replace, don't get driven over, and provide shelter for cars. A ton of stores here in Phoenix as are starting to provide covered parking by covering their parking lots with solar arrays. It's brilliant. Imo. It makes customers very happy in the summer and Phoenix is one of the best places in the world for PV electric generation. Remember that time someone made confession bear admitting to odding his sister's boyfriend. No one seems to remember the last little kid Reddit treated, the one that made videos with his toy dinosaurs. He got super excited at his hundreds of thousands of views and subscribers, made videos celebrating, then Reddit got bored, quit watching, unsubbed and the kid got sad, started making videos apologizing, even when he didn't do anything wrong. That sounds like the saddest short story ever written. Well I remember something about a safe that seemed to drag on forever with a quite unsatisfying ending. I'm probably too late to the party, but here it is anyway. Sometimes when you read through the comment sections on different posts there would come this long story which didn't have anything to do with the post itself. It was just posted there randomly by a user. The story started normal, but soon they turned perverted, then gruesome and horrifying. The ending would be the death of a person, and then it took a weird twist. The stories always ended as a commercial. You would try and make some sense out of it, by seeing the poster's username, only to find more madness and nonsense slash you slash picklet potatoes. One of his stories. In high school my girlfriend and I went to a local fair. There was a roller coaster she wanted to ride. Now, we were both virgins at the time, 
so she thought it would be a good idea to lose our virginity to each other on the coaster. We get on the coaster in the back car so no one can see us. She pulls down her shorts and she's not wearing panties. I almost lose it right then. She reaches down my pants and that's when she found my stash. See, from the time I was about 11, I would masturbate into a sandwich bag. When no one was home, I'd pop that bag into a pot of boiling water. I used to imagine I could hear millions of little sperm screaming. Sperm holocaust. It was exhilarating to kill millions of things with one simple act. After a good 20 minutes in the pan, I'd let it cool and then stick it in my food dehydrator. It'd form a crust. I'd scrape it off and store it in another bag. This other bag became my stash. I always dreamed that the first time I fed a girl, She'd pull out this stash I had been saving for years and snort it like coke. I formed this elaborate fantasy where she'd snort my boiled dry cum powder and I'd tongue her a hole. Well, so there I'm on this coaster with my girlfriend holding my cum bag and she f i drops it between the tracks. Never to be found. Punch her in the face. She screams. Starts crying. Blood running down her face. I don't care. Punch her in the head. Again and again again over and over a bloody mess she's dead keep punching her head is now hamburger hamburger helper ultimate cheeseburger macaroni what the f till reddit is fine scary the swamps of dagobah made me gag heard that mentioned a couple times what is it it's a story of raw nurse operating on this 314 pound woman who had an infection and tons of dead flesh and fesses shot into the operating room didn't see it mentioned so here it is. Also, I'm not sure it counts in this thread. So about a year ago, there was a thread in r slash relationships. A woman posted, claiming that she found a camera hidden under her kitchen sink. It was her husband's, and in the gallery of the camera, she found that he had taken a photo of all of her belongings. But not just one photo, two photos. It was quite a popular thread and people were creating and ruling out theories. It wasn't likely for insurance reasons. Or any other one suggested. Another one was, maybe he wants to know what you like, but he doesn't want you to be worried. But why would he hide it? People asked her to stay in touch, but she never responded, nor started another thread. She didn't post anything on her account anymore, either. I've always wondered what happened to her. If anyone can find the thread, that'd be great. Link on mobile so IDK. If it messes it up, but it's there for insurance maybe he took two pictures to make sure at least one of them was good doesn't seem anything special to me exactly how would someone assume that someone taking photos of their tv purse or watch have foul intentions you are supposed to hide photos for insurance reason because if someone comes in and robs you and steals the camera you now have no photos clearly a robber isn't going to look under a kitchen sink for anything of value People try to read too deep into things. She never posted again. Because she probably said, Honey, why is there a camera under the sink? For insurance so. Okay. The guy who masturbates using a wall socket to stimulate his penis. And following that a lemon. You all are forgetting about Woody Harrelson's car fire of an amour and the guy that accused him of taking the virginity of a high schooler and never calling her. But anyways, back to Rampart. Beautiful female corpses sub, as a whole, WTF, that was a thing, everything's a thing, apparently the pedo sub was a this, no, they weren't beautiful, the sub said cute corpses, seriously though, I didn't realize, that one was banned, I went there once, it was strange, I believe it's been quarantined, and not banned yet, remember that time reddit banned r slash wallowaching, because they thought it was a clone of r slash fat pr plot. The Ellen Payo Day Buckle, the Boston Bomber Witch Hunt, the Ask a Rapist Thread. Not really history, but Marizo something currently happening. Honestly I think we'd all rather forget slash r slash insults. I'm on mobile, sorry for bad formatting, Ed seen that sub before, and felt bad for some of them. I'm sure there's some nice ones, but felt like it was just a woe with me. Pity party circle a jerk. Visited it after your link and holy f. Some dude hoss a frequent poster also openly advocates for raping women and says it isn't a bad thing. WTF. Yeah. A lot of people there are actually f I'm crazy. It. People naming events and not explaining them. Yeah. 
but just comment le5 on those and enjoy all the free karma people will give you because they don't know either our beloved uniton sucks cause i really enjoyed his knowledge nothing there's nothing that we like to forget about we love to rehash and regurgitate every little thing endlessly